It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. And eating, I suppose, because I want to do that too. I oh, I could be happy okay, here. little kiss through the window. You know, if it wasn't for the suspicious atmosphere here, that sunset would have been nice, but I don't know. I'm getting a lot of bad vibes here. I'm not gonna lie. Let me go to the cabin, because clearly it's getting dark pretty fast. Too fast for my liking. Alright. Honey? I mean, her boots are here, but I don't see her anywhere. And those books are still around. Did she actually turn off the radio too? I guess she wanted some peace and quiet. I mean, nothing wrong with that. She's not in the kitchen either. Maybe she's in here? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice. I bet you're in some sexy lingerie, right? Oh, well, shoot. Hello there. What's I'm good? Not a surprise. It's in the study. Go oh. Take a look. I mean, <laughs> okay. I mean, I like you as a surprise. There's nothing wrong with that. Surprise. <gasps> wow. What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Deb, Alice, you, everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. Let her That's speak. Not... Whoa. Alan? Don't! Just don't! I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! Oh, wow. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. You don't have to yell at her like that. I get it, you're frustrated and you feel like everyone's down your throat about writing a book. But bro, there's no reason for you to act like that with your wife. So calm down. You better say sorry to her, too. Alice. Shit! Alice. 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 The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? I'm here, I'm here, honey, I'm coming. Alice, I'm coming! What? No. Whoa! 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 Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, subscribe to my channel, that way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. Hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Alice? Alice? Hey, yo, what? Did someone took my wife and... Oh! <gasps> She fell in the lake. You better jump in. Keep going, Alice. Wake up, Alice. How did I get in the car? Where's my wife? Is she alive? Why am I bleeding? Wait a minute. Crash car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Are you kidding me? Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover, either. First of all, Alan, we really don't have time to be mad anymore. Especially since there's a possibility that Alice could be, I don't know, dead? 
Man, this is crazy. How did I... F oh, I must have fallen from that cliff up there. That makes sense. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Well, we better hurry up. Get down there. This is crazy. Ooh, what? Oh, wait a minute. I'm not going down there. No way. Damn. Uh, there goes my car. I really better have some good car insurance because that... Mm -mm. Wait a minute. Is there a way for me to get down here? I'm not trying to get myself killed. I can't believe it. My car is gone. Well, most importantly, my wife is gone. I can't believe the last thing I did was yell at her like that. Like, that breaks my heart. Hello? Oh, no. Oh, I have to go to the light. Hello? Is someone there? No. Wait, why is there paper flying around? Dear diary, my there husband. Were of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled "Departure." My husband that yelled at me, and I'm sad. The next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, hold on. Title page. Departure, Let me see. By Alan Wake. Nice. And you read it for me? Okay. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. All right. This is some really good... This is some really good pages here. Now I can actually see why you're an Arthur. Got me hooked from the start. And you know, as much as I love reading, I don't want to be in the woods by myself, especially since we just read a manuscript about a hero Anybody there? being in the Please. woods I've been in an accident. by himself. I don't have any guns or ammo. I'm pissed. I don't even want to be here. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Okay, bet any help is better than no help. Whoa, what is this? Huh. Do I really want to go through here? I mean... I don't see anything. I don't see any other option. Yeah, there is no other option. Okay. I guess I have to climb up on that dead log and get inside the properly. Sorry, get inside the pro property. Sorry, me and my lazy mouth. Man, this is... I don't see anyone here. Wait, Anybody I think... There? I think Please. I just saw someone. Hey. Oh, no. There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Oh, what the heck? Pleased to meet you. Non refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. <sighs> He just killed a man. Oh no, I don't like this at all. And I have to go through here too? This is a mind maze. At least I can count on finding this thermos. Am I right? Oh man, this is a mind maze here. I don't even want to be here. Wait, what's this? 
The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. Me too. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Well, you know what they say, shine bright like a diamond, am I right? Should I be here or no? Nah, that's a dead end. I'm good. My only way is through here, I guess. And... And he's parkouring. Like he's in Mirror's Edge. Okay, okay, you can keep the deposit. I don't care. I don't care. Bye. Woo. What the heck? I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. I was about to say that. And how convenient. A gun. And a flashlight. And a flashlight? Okay, I'll take the batteries. Thank you. How convenient that I just found a gun and a flashlight. Bring your back. Trying. It's the latest. Really? In yes. Bright Fall Sheriff Station. Oh man. And the phone goes out. You can see the sights and keep those Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm not ooh. Am I gonna die? Woo! Woo! Okay, let me leave. I can't. I can't be here anymore. I gotta head out. This is a dead end. Okay. I don't like this. I, I wanna go. The bulldozer had gone over the cliff with the office. I hoped Stucky had suffered the same fate, but I wasn't planning on staying to find out. Anyways, let's go to the gas station. I don't wanna be here anymore. This is too much for me. You need to stop and leave me alone. Shoot. Stop! The concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Honestly... The fact that we found a gun and a flashlight. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. What is this? I can't even at this point. I'm scared. Like, cool, I'm able to pick up some gun ammo and stuff, but I don't even like this. What's over here? Ooh, okay. Read, read this to Rose me. knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. Wait, what? She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty confident at ease with wake not like rose they were perfect for each other she'd have given anything to be called their friend first of all why am i in this story why am i being mentioned in this story i don't like how this is going i don't like how this is being played out here all right goodbye leave me alone What the hell was
was that? I don't want to know. I don't want to stand around and find out either. Let's go. Let's get to the gas station. This is the longest way to any gas station in my life. Seriously, I just... When Are I we even halfway alone, through? Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. I just want to go home to my wife. And even then, that's questionable, because I don't even know if she's alive or not. Okay, so right now it's quiet. A little too quiet. Am I actually going through the house? Wait, another one. Pick up. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that, not sleeping, messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Do I jump? Alright, I jump. Ooh! And I'm dead. How am I supposed to reach the gas station? I need to know. Because clearly... There is no way for me to do this. What the hell was that? I don't even want to know. I don't like this at all. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Okay, let me grab the manuscript and then from there we can find another way because clearly that's not the way. So, come on. Let's grab that paper. Thank you. And let me see if there's another way. There just has to be, right? Yep, I knew it. Right over here. I don't even know where this person's at. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Well, Stucky better go over there and get himself stuck again, because I'm not in the mood. Lithium batteries? Okay, this is nice. Look at me being treated. Alright, maybe this way? Woo! Shit. This is not good. Leave me alone! You too. Horrible, horrible, and I'm literally the only one here. Okay, can I climb or nah? Cool, I could climb. Nice, what's it say? Proceed at your own risk? Oh my gosh, I'm so done with this. Okay, so I see an arrow right here, right? Yeah, right there. Okay, so let's go this way. What? I hope I'm going the right way because I up here okay is something gonna spook me out and jump at me oh okay maybe another manuscript for me to take because I definitely want to read the whole thing in order that's for sure Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Supplies? Say less. Um, hold on. Right here. Ooh, thank you so much! I love this! Oh my goodness, I am so happy. Thank you to whoever showed me the way to to the supplies cuz that that's A1 right there. I love it. 
Okay, so let me go ahead and just get off here, right? And is there anything for me to take here? Nope, I'm minding my business. Let's go. Is there a way for me to squeeze through here? Nah, probably not. I'm gonna go this way now. If I was in this situation, I would be scared shitless. Like, I just can't. Is there any, any way for me to change my gun? Because I don't want to use this. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Of course it's broken. Why am I not surprised? I'm not. I'm pissed, but I'm not surprised. Oh, oh, that's awkward. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, can I not change my gun? I can't change my gun. Why? Why is it that I can't? Oh, now I could. Thank you. I just had to use the left uh, arrow. Man, this is crazy. I don't even want to be here. Look, another thermal. I am not surprised. I see something shiny over there, too. Is that another missing document? I bet it is. No, it's just a hat. Okay. I guess I'll go through here. I'm not sure if it's the right way or not, but... Woo! What the heck? You jerk! No, 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 you better chill. Stop. Stop. Stop! I am freaking out. I don't know what to do. Stop! Come on! How am I not dead? Woo! Oh man, I am dying. Come on! Oh my gosh, that is so scary. Okay. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Oh, right there, that's cute. Let me see. Ooh, another one. Let me check what this says. I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Yeah, this is intense. This is so intense. Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh my goodness. I am so happy. I got a shotgun. But not enough bullets. I'm just going to use this for now. Finally, I'm getting some legit weapons. I'm so happy. This is like Resident Evil all over again, though. Low key. I feel so much more comfortable with weapons. Than without any, you know? Okay. This is the slowest log lift of my life. Hurry up. I have no time. I want to leave. Why are you taking so long? Dang, man, this is... This is a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Come on! Move! What? Can I jump? Okay, you know what? At least I have the ladder right here. I can just simply climb up here, jump on that, and then we should be A-OK. -okay. So... Nice. Okay. Um. 
Oh, okay, I know exactly what to do. I know exactly what to do. Sorry, I'm tweaking. Alright, that should be good. I'm gonna do it again. Second time. Second try, second time. Don't blame me, this is my first time playing this game, so I'm going to be tweaking a little bit due to anxiety and stress. Because I hate playing scary games, but I only do it for you guys. Alright, I should be good. Let's go. Come on, thank you. Woo! I am out of here. I'm so happy. Okay, now what? Ooh, I see something here. Yes. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Do you listeners know what? I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Uh, makes no At least you're life. safe in the studio. No, you don't. But here I am, and I won't keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but when we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but he's just too tough for his own good. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks. You have a good night now. Well, you know what? I'm going to go and find that dog because I need... I need some emotional support right now. I don't like being here in the neck of the woods. This place scares me. Is there anything in here for me? What's this? Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! I'm so happy! Whew, I am so happy. Look at this. You know what I just realized? Why is the game giving me so much guns and ammo? What wild shit is gonna happen? I need to know. Because right now, I'm suspicious. Wait, another one? Let me see. At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Wow. Wow, okay. Okay. All right. You heard the man. He's gonna use it to save Alice and save the himself, so. The gas station so. was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. It is not close. It is. Can y'all leave me alone, please? Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's happening again. Woo! Man. This is horrible. This is horrible. I don't even want to be here. I'm like so nauseated right now. Stop! Can ya stop, please? Leave me alone. Both of ya. Leave me alone. Come here. Come on, come on, come on. I have no time for this. Whew. 
man, that is so exhausting. I, I, I'm done. Like, I'm really done. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.